Hello and welcome to Spoiled by Coco. My name is Apurvi and in this channel we bake eggless recipes. So let's get baking. For making focaccia bread in a glass, take 115 grams of warm water, not hot. That means you should be able to put your finger in the water without any problem. Add 1 by 4 teaspoon of sugar and mix it in. Then add 3 grams of instant yeast, mix it in and cover the glass with a lid and let the yeast bloom. It will hardly take about 10 minutes. You should be able to see small bubbles starting to form. In the meanwhile, in a bowl, take 150 grams of all-purpose flour, add 5 grams of vital protein. If you do not wish to add, then simply add 5 grams of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of pizza seasoning and mix everything together. Now transfer the dry ingredients onto the kitchen counter or you can proceed in the bowl itself. Using your fingers, create a well in the center so that we can pour our yeast into it. I am using my forefinger and the middle finger to slightly push the flour on its edges and create a well in the center. Look how beautifully our yeast has fermented. If it is not like this, frothy, discard the mixture and make it again instead of using it else it will ruin your end result. Pour all of it in the center and mix it with the dry ingredients to form a dough. Now add olive oil. In the recipe, I am using a total of 62 grams of olive oil, but I am not using it in all one go, instead in parts in smaller quantity. Add quarter of the quantity and continue to knead the dough. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes. Since it is a sticky dough, use a scraper to help in kneading. Now I am pouring the 1 4 of the oil into the bowl and transfer my dough in it. Knead it lightly to incorporate all the oil. Cover with a cling wrap and keep it to proof for about half an hour. Be sure to apply oil in the inner surface that is the side facing the dough with oil otherwise your dough will stick to the cling wrap. After about half an hour, remove the cling film and using just your finger, lift the dough from bottom from one side and stretch it and tuck it to the opposite side. Repeat this process on all sides. You can count each pull to help you know when to stop. I count till 70 to 75 that is I do this pull and tuck movement at least of 70 times. As you can see how sticky our dough is you might be tempted to add some flour but do not add it. Cling wrap it and let it proof for a second time till it doubles in size. Focaccia bread is essentially a pizza flat bread without the topping and the sauce. But you can also put the topping like I have randomly or you can make a beautiful focaccia art. Food is but in fact a form of art. It's only up to you how you present it using yeast. Now you can see in the recipe that I have bloomed my yeast separately in hot water. Now why did I do that? Because you never know if your yeast has expired or by chance accidentally unintentionally you put yeast and salt together so to avoid all such mess happening so what i have done is in a separate bowl i have taken warm water not hot in that warm water i have mixed salt and yeast mixed it in and have set it aside to let it bloom now for the focaccia dough as you have seen after first proving how i was pulling my dough and tuck it in 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 the opposite side the method is quite simple all you have to do using just your fingertips just pull the dough upward and then tuck it to the opposite side 
this you have to do approximately for 70 times i do it for 70 times if you don't want it you can do it for 40 50 times okay now what you have to do is just pull the dough from one end then tuck it in then rotate your bowl the bowl in which your dough is to a 90 degree like if you think of it a circle then just say you are tilting it to a quarter degree like clockwise anti clockwise that is up to you just turn it quarter or 90 degree and then again pull it and tuck the dough this you have to do for the number of times that i have told you then all you have to do is cling wrap it and let it rest just look at this how beautifully our dough has risen now transfer the dough into the baking tin which i have greased with olive oil do not knock the air out simply transfer the dough like so now i'm going to pour some oil onto the dough also on my finger it will help me create that classic pattern without having to worry about dough sticking on my fingers. Push the dough on all sides and press it in creating the uneven surface. Cover with the cling wrap and leave it to proof for the third and final time for about 15 minutes. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the bell icon so that you can get notified each time my new video comes. After 15 minutes you can see our bread has proved slightly. Now add some slice of red and yellow bell pepper, cherry tomatoes and olive. You can add any veggies you like or none at all. Drizzle some olive oil left from the total quantity and still leave some. Sprinkle pizza seasoning on top and bake this focaccia at 200 C for 18 to 24 minutes till you see a nice golden color on top. Lightly brush the leftover olive oil on the freshly baked out of the oven focaccia bread. Another point that I have to discuss is the use of oil. As you can see in the recipe, I have used in the recipe 60 to 62 grams of olive oil and I haven't used it in one single go. Instead, I have used it one fourth at a time. As you can see, I was using the same quantity of oil, oil that I have measured and put it in a glass. So for the whole recipe, I used that only just little by little and in the end that uh, one teaspoon or one tablespoon of oil that was left i used it to gently brush over my freshly baked focaccia bread i hope you will enjoy the recipe and try it at home also tell me in the comment how did you like it you can tag us on the social media by using hashtag spoiled by coco or bake with sbc Now I'll slice our focaccia. Look how soft it is. It is springing back as I keep the slice aside and you can't miss the beautiful texture. Thank you for watching. Spoiled by Coco.